Oh, hold still, right there. <laughs> okay, we got us a chef knife that needs a little bit of help. And uh, this is an instructional video for the V-notch. I have a lot of videos that, you know, that show using them, but if you don't go through all the videos, you're not gonna know. Um, so anyway, we have a knife. We're gonna do a little test on it first. Okay, then that's enough. All right, so we tip that out, pull that off. Oh, not even gonna catch. Oh, if you rip into it, okay. So we're gonna fix that and we're gonna do an instructional video. There's a couple of things, I'll turn it around this way. There's a couple of things about the V-notch. Number one, please listen. Never tip the knife sideways. Never do that and run it through because you're only on one corner. And when you tip it like this and draw it through, you actually cut Ooh, that, yeah, that brings me to mind of another guy who said, you doled all my knives. I'll bet he laid it down this way. Okay, I'll get back to that. So New York, if you're watching, I think that's you. Okay, never tip it over. Always 100% straight up and down, 90 degrees. Not over like this, not over like that. Please listen to the word not. Do not ever do that, okay? Run it right straight through like this. Tip it a little bit and run it through like that. Then the other thing is, don't hand hold it. Put it on something firm or on the edge of a table, straight up and down, and draw it through, but don't put much pressure on it, okay? Just like that. No, I'm not gonna cut my leg and I'm not gonna bleed to death. Just like that. You can come out here and do it this way, okay? You can go forth and back. See, I'm, I'm really not, I'm not putting any pressure on the knife. When it's close to sharp, you don't have to. Okay, so I'm gonna reiterate a little bit of never do. Never, never, never tip it and run it through this way and tip it like that. Do not do that, okay? And another thing is, I'm gonna have to hold still and point because there are little corners sticking out of the plastic up here. And I do this once in a while I get in a hurry or something and I miss the hole in the V and I run it this way. Now watch how it jerks and, and as light as I'm touching it. Okay, if you miss the V and you hit it up here and you draw the knife down through there, you literally just cut the cutting edge right off the blade. No big deal. All you gotta do is go back to the V and draw it through there. Now see how, see how it doesn't grab and jerk and stick. Now we go back up here on that corner like you're not supposed to. See how it grabs and sticks like that? That'll take the edge off your blade. This does not take the edge off the blade. So people who say, they actually make a comment, your sharpener dulled all my knives. I don't know what you were doing, okay? My sharpener doesn't do anything. It's you, it's operator rare. So we're gonna go down through the V like this, light pressure. I have also learned over the last couple of years that I really do like the V-notch and you, when you do this, you're not even taking any metal off. Obviously it might be a microscopic dust, but people say all V-notch carbide sharpeners rip flakes of metal off the blade. If you're so dumb that you push so hard that you rip flakes off the blade, you can't be helped, okay? So straight up and down, never tip, just like that, like this. Generally speaking, more solid on a table, like this. If the knife needs to be reprofiled, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna press down on it and I'm gonna see if I can't get pigtails of metal. Okay, I didn't get any pigtails, so it must be a little bit hard, but you can see the metal. See how it's picking, oh, stainless steel, yeah, right. <laughs> stainless steel, look how magnetic it is. Does that tell you anything about stainless steel? 
real stainless steel is not magnetic it's uh non-ferrous metal all right so let's see i've been messing with it okay now there is a little burr on a sharp knife uh let's leave it at the v-notch okay please watch this video listen to what i say down straight through like this 90 degrees in other words that would be tipped over roughly 45 there. That would be tipped over roughly 45. We want to be 90 degrees. So if you have this as your plane, 90 degrees off of that plane is this way. So that is straight up and down more like that. And yeah, I'm going to get some people say that's two degrees off. Okay. But uh, 90 degrees, do not make the mistake of running it across the top you know, tipped like that. Yes, you are going to take some metal off the blade, so you just fix it. Don't whine. Don't be a little whiny. Okay, then you just fix it. And you can run it through there gentle, but I always set it down like this. Come up here where you're holding on to the knife. Never get a hold of it like this. You cannot control what you're doing. This way, the knife basically just floats sideways and everything. I mean, it doesn't float sideways. Got to be careful what I say. But when you're doing it this way, you won't know if you're off a little bit. This way you do. All right, so let's call, that's actually pretty sharp. Sharp enough for food. And no, it isn't 6,000 grit. Anyway, watch the video straight up and down. Never angle it. Watch out for the top corner. If you need to reprofile, put enough that you can actually see, put enough pressure down that you can actually see some metal coming off. Do that with, with just enough pressure, you know, be gentle with it. Uh, then go lighter on it and then uh, I'll show you now in the next video how to use the open face corners and no it is not a honing rod please don't call that a honing rod it is not this is Brad Buckner we'll talk to you later